Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and welcome back to the 10th episode in this Pleasant Valley 17 FS17 Let's Play series. The last episode in this series was a high speed locking episode, and we logged out this whole area over here. And I've got uh, quite a bit of the logs stacked up over here, and this should, this stockpile should keep us busy for quite a while. Got some stockpiled back there too. Uh, and after I went ahead and did that, uh, I also, let me bring up my hood here. Uh, as you can see, I've also got a little more money now. I went ahead and did some logging down by the south lumber yard. And so, built up my bank account a little bit. Uh, I wanted to kind of walk through and show these two facilities here in actual real time and kind of explain what my thought process was here. So I've got this handy little pile here. This is pretty sweet because you can come at it from the side and grab it with the claw on the front of the front loader and take loads of wood over and dump them. And you can actually put uh, like a pile of logs right here and as this needs them it'll feed them in and so this is pretty well full here and this is the sawmill that makes board pallets not to be confused with pallets so <laughs> we're gonna go do that here in a little bit so it takes logs and over here it takes wood chips as you can see we've got uh, 18,000 liters of wood chips in there and then it actually outputs wood chips so what I can do then is use my front loader here to grab a bucket of wood chips like that so we got one full bucket and then you just feed the wood chips back into it and that's what keeps it running. Like that. So I need the front loader up here to move the wood chips. I also need the front loader up here to get bundles of logs and put them over here. And if we come and look down over here at this side, this is the output. So here we've got two full pallets of boards. And it'll just stack them here as they come across and it gets added to the stack. And then once that stack's full, it rolls down and this will fill up with board pallets. And once that's full, then I can put the pallet forks on the front loader and pick them up and put them on the flatbed trailer and then I can take that over to the pallet production facility. So because I need this front loader up here to basically run this facility and I need a way to transport the uh, pallets around once they're full I'm kind of thinking I need to leave this front loader up here, this wheel loader, and go buy a second one for using at the main farm and for mining. And I'll probably, if I have enough money, buy a second semi to leave up here for driving the pallets of stuff around. And so we've got quite a few piles of wood here and down the hill is the only other thing I wanted to show you so in the last episode I showed kind of filling this all this is is a giant placeable wood chipper and instead of having like the freestanding gens wood chipper that we have you can basically come in here with a bundle of logs in the front loader and you just dump them in here and this chops them up into wood chips and as you can see we've got 481,000 liters of wood in there 
And we've currently got 81,000 liters of wood chips in this little pile here. And you can see over here is the screen where it's running. And so this will just sit here and continuously turn logs into wood chips. And we can you know, take the wood chips and sell them. We could take the wood chips over to the composter and turn them into compost. Uh, and then obviously the sawmill runs on wood chips. I'm still not too sure if, uh, you know, it'll take a few days to figure it out, but I'm not too sure if the sawmill is self-sufficient in the sense that it will output enough wood chips to keep it running. Uh, there have been, like, I think the sawmill on like Pine Cove Farm, that Stevie map, that one I'm pretty sure will is self-sufficient. Like if you put wood chips in, the wood chips it produces is enough to replenish what it's using. So, um, I never went through and ground out the stumps. Most of these stumps are low enough that they're not really an issue as far as um, like catching a piece of equipment if you were driving through here. Got a one meter log. Apparently I can't pick that up. I don't know why. That's interesting. Um, yeah, so I'm not, probably not going to worry about grinding these stumps out. So there's two reasons. <laughs> If I were to replant trees over here, I could just take the tree planter and drive around, right? And just plant trees all over the place and just not, you know, just avoid the stumps that are here, right? It should be fine. And the other reason being, I know that the updated version of this map's coming out soon. And so stump grinding and replanting the trees is probably going to be a bit of a wasted effort since that won't carry across when the map gets updated. So that is basically it for this uh, lumber wood processing area up here. I just wanted to, I know a lot of people aren't a fan of the high speed logging episodes. It's I mean, that was, uh, I think it was about six hours worth of work. Um, probably eight if you include the stuff I did after the episode was over. And then, you know, another couple hours worth of video editing. So there's a lot of work that goes into those. Um, I know they may seem like it's the, the lazy way to make a video, but it it's so much work to get this many logs over here that it's, really the only way that I can do that and still have a video about it. I mean, alternatively, I can just do the work and not make videos anymore. So, <laughs> um, so that's why I figured I would come up here and kind of summarize what I did and show everyone around. So next thing I want to do is go ahead and buy a wheel loader. So let's take a look here. I get another JCB and we'll do standard again and then the front shovel not too worried I should I already have a silage fork over at the farm not too worried about getting pallet forks because I've got my front loader that can use to move pallets around so I'm pretty sure I just need a shovel so I'll go ahead and buy that and then the only other thing then was the truck. And this is gonna put a hurting on my cash, but I think I have just enough. We'll do the back attacher. And we don't have enough money to upgrade the engine yet, but we'll do that eventually. Set the color standard, that's good. Buy that, yes, okay. All right, so I need to bring the truck up here and the wheel loader we will take over to, uh, well, I gotta go check and see if I need to do any more silt mining for the fertilization facility. So 
want to hop over and grab that semi now. Alright, so here's the new semi, and I'm just going to drive this back up to that lumber area, and on my way up there I'll swing by the fertilizer and seed production facilities and kind of see how they're doing. Alright, so it looks like we're about half full with silt and digestate, so we could stand to do another load. Let me see how much I have in my trailer here. All right, so now we're 93% full, that's pretty good. So I think I will wind up bringing the front loader over here to mine up another load of silt out of the bottom of the pond. But I'm gonna, wrong button. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and keep working my way up. And we'll, I'll go check on the seed production facility and see how it's doing too. All right, so seed production's completely offline. We're out of fertilizer and almost out of grain. But I do have a lot of seed because I just took a full load over to the main farm. So I've got a lot, so I'm not too worried about that. What I'm kind of thinking about doing is uh, the next load of fertilizer that I get, coming over here and making liquid fertilizer because I do not have any of this yet. So I need dry fertilizer and water, and that will make liquid fertilizer. So that's kind of handy. Now that the um, that tanker is empty of digested, I can actually go get a load of water with it and bring it over here. All right, I got my tanker, and in theory, I can fill this down here at the pond because it will tell me um, the way that I was led to understand this is any body of water that gives you that warning of do not drive too deeply, uh, you can fill a tanker from it. There you go. There we go. One full tanker of water. I'll take this up to the liquid fertilizer production facility. You can definitely tell this truck doesn't have the upgraded engine. It's not a huge fan of going up those hills. All right, we'll leave that there and let it unload the water. And I'm gonna head back up to the lumber yard sawmill. All right. So now I can grab the uh, pallet forks. Not really sure what's the best way to put these on this trailer. There 
There we go. Alright, should hold those on there. Uh, and of course now, the problem will be, once I get these over to the other facility, I need to unload them. So... I'm gonna need the JCB to come with me. I guess what I can do is I'll just record a course play course from here over there and then I can reuse that course to drive the JCB over. So I'll go ahead and stop here and then save this. Alright, so we want to move sawmill to transfer and pallets transfer sawmill transfer sawmill to pallets. Alright, looks good. So let's just see here if oh that is a Pretty solid drop off there. Um, kind of curious if just driving over that spot there is good enough. It is nice. Okay. Well, I don't need the wheel loader then. Nice. Okay. So with that offloaded, let's hop out here and look at this thing. So, two pallets is 20% full, and that should be all it needs now to start actually creating pallets. Alright, so we should be good over here. So then I'll just take this back up to the sawmill. Looks like I won't really need that course play course after all. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab the my other semi, which is actually down at the southern sawmill and bring that back up to the main farm, grab a trailer and then take that over to the silt pond, dig up some silt and get that over in our fertilizer production facility. Alright, so I got my other truck and as you can see I've been busy logging down here. Kinda cleared out this area down here and this hillside here, kind of around this area. So it all went pretty well. So I'm just going to take this semi back up to my main farm. All right, got my trailer. I'm just going to head over to the pond where the silt is. Alright, got the trailer here, ready to get loaded up. So now I just need the front loader. Alright, that is so exciting. <laughs> Finally got that trailer full. Let's see if we can get out of here. Uh, might as well grab a bucket and then I'll take this over to the fertilizer production area.
All right, let's see if we can get this thing up the hill. There we go. And we'll unload this. Excellent. Now our facility should be able to run for a while tonight while we fast forward to the next day. And in the morning we should have a probably another trailer load of fertilizer ready. I'm gonna dump this excess here. And that way tomorrow when I have to refill it, I can just start with that. Alright, I'm gonna grab that wheel loader and bring it up here. And I'll just leave this by the pile of silt in the parking lot. Alright. So the only other thing I wanted to do today, uh, as you can tell we're a little low on funds and so I'm worried about my maintenance here at midnight. Uh, but I do have quite a few pigs. I'm going to go ahead and take two loads of pigs over to the market and sell them and then we'll use that cash to help us make it through the, the night. Alright, so I got my trailer and I'm just going to head up to the pig farm and we'll get the first load of pigs. Alright, so I'm not a big fan of that tree. <laughs> Like there's a reason why I cut that tree out uh, back on Goldcrest Valley. All right, so we got 42 pigs, and I can hit uh, another tree. <laughs> Should probably do something about all those trees. All right. So now I can take this over to the livestock market and sell these pigs, which should get us like $50,000, which would be enough to cover all of our daily maintenance costs and we should be ready to move on to the next day. All right, there we go, 42 pigs. Gone. $50,000. Gives us a little over 70000 in the bank. Should be plenty of money to make through the day. Of course, we got those, uh, got those greenhouses cranking out money too, so we're making a pretty good hourly profit. So I'm just going to take this back to the farm and park it, and I think that's going to wrap up this video. And in the next video, like I said, we'll, I'll fast forward to the next day, which means we'll be ready to probably do some more planting. We'll plant maybe three more fields. And we'll go from there. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sorry for the uh, any audio or vocal issues. I got a bit of a cold right now, so... Not sure if that'll come across in the video or not, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, would you please give a thumbs up? That helps a lot. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more Farming Simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.